welcome to Microsoft Technical Tutorials. Today we are going to see how we can install AdventureWorks 2012 MDF files in our SQL Server. In order to do that, first we need to have the MDF files. That we can download from the Coplex. So this is the URL from where we can uh, download AdventureWorks database. SQL 2012 Coplex is the data URL. From here you will download. Go to Downloads portal. Once you go there, you will see AdventureWorks 2012 database. Just click on this link, you will be able to download this file. So I have downloaded this file already. You see in my downloads folder, this file is already available in zip format. I have extracted this file and stored all the files in AdventureWorks 2012 underscore data. Once you go here, you will see three different MDF files. So the, all these are related to AdventureWorks. And one more file you can see over here is README. So once you click on this, you will see how we can. Uh, this will have different instructions how we can install AdventureWorks 2012 database in our SQL Server. Just uh, go to this particular URL. You will see all the steps that we need to take in order to install this. You have to first go to Microsoft 2012 and start the SSMS. And copy your MDF files to this um, folder, C folder, and in and inside C Microsoft SQL Server will have data folder. Just copy your data to this uh, data folder. After that, you need to check whether uh, any MDF file is in block state. If it is in block state, you have to unblock them so that you will be able to, you will be able to restore them in inside your database. Once you start the SSMS, connect to any one of the database that you know, any one of the instance in your SQL Server. After that, just attach uh, these files. So now we will see how to do all this process. First, we will check whether um, any of our file is in block state. If it is in block state, you need to do make it as unblock. So go to properties. So if you see here, this file is blocked. So just unblock it. So this thing I need to do for uh, all the files and unblocking all the files and now I am unblocking SQL Server AdventureWorks LD2012. Once you unblock this, just uh, you need to copy these files into your Microsoft SQL Server data folder or you can now uh, copy these files to any location it is not mandatory that you need to copy the files only to this particular location wherever you want to store inside the folder or a folder how many drives you have you can um, save these files over there so that uh, whenever you are uh, creating the tables or uh, some other store businesses the data will be consumed from this so i am i am going to this particular uh, folder over here this is a Microsoft SQL Server folder inside this go to your instance ms sql 11 dot sql express some people may have sql server as the name here my instance name is sql express that's why it is showing as sql express inside this go to my ms sql go to data folder here just you need to copy your uh, mdf files if you see over here have different databases in my uh, Microsoft SQL Server. All those database data files will be stored here. Now I am keeping these uh, AdventureWorks databases also in this data folder. This I copied and then paste in it over here. Once all these files are copied, so if you see here, three files are copied. Once these files are copied, go to SSMS. Just right click on your databases, click on Attach. So here it will ask you for the MDF file location. Click on add. So it will ask you to browse this file. So I am browsing AdventureWorks 2012 underscore data. And then click OK. Once you click, the data file will be available and log file will be available. So you don't need log file as of now. Just remove it because we don't have. And then click OK. Once you click on this, you see here AdventureWorks 2012 database is available in our uh, SQL Server. This, these are all the tables that are available in this and if you go over here different store businesses you will see so now we will see how to attach the other files so click on attach now we attach adventureworks 2012 
click on adventure of data warehouse click ok and then remove it and then we will see whether we can attach okay. three different files two different files at a time just click on it so this you are not finding just add it so you see here two different uh, databases are restored at the same time i selected both of them so you are able to see the tables and everything in this this is how you can uh, restore adventure works databases which is provided by microsoft inside our sql server